Good Thursday evening, Internet friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett here in the King 5 studios, and we are under a first alert tonight. You saw steady rain across the region today. Overnight tonight, we're going to add more rain and some gusty wind to the equation. 40, 50, possibly even 60 mile an hour winds. So yeah, batten down the hatches. It's going to be a rough one on Friday. And behind that, we're tracking some very cold air. So let's dig right into it. Here's what it looks like as far as your first alert forecast goes. Steady rain and past level snow tonight. I'll show you snow quality pass in just a moment. Heavier rain, potentially damaging wind Friday into Friday night, and then the weekend we'll see that frontal boundary move through and those snow levels will drop and pass impacts will be likely. So let's start with the cool part. This is the atmospheric river, the moisture plume, the pineapple express, whatever you want to call it. It is pointed right at the Pacific Northwest, but watch what happens. This is going to be a very generous storm system. It's going to walk all the way down the coast and bring some soaking rains to areas that could really use it, including Oregon and Southern California. California. This is Monday at 5 p.m. So it looks like LA, San Diego, and even some of the deserts out there could pick up some drenching rains. Now we've got watches and warnings aplenty. The flood watch pretty much for the entire viewing region of western Washington all the way out to the coast and up towards the Canadian border. We've got a winter weather advisory that's now been expanded out to the central and northern Cascades. That'll be in place until 5 a.m. on Friday above 4,000 feet. And this is just round one. More snow will move in over the weekend. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Wind advisory in place until 8 a.m. on Friday for a couple of spots along the coast and the northern portion of the I-5 corridor. And then way down south, a high wind warning where we will see those gusts up to 55 and possibly even 65 miles an hour. Now, another thing too, folks up towards the northern portion of our viewing area, including the San Juans and up towards Bellevue and Everett, you're not going to see gusty winds in the morning. You will see them at night though, and right around 11 o'clock tomorrow night, they'll peak, getting up to about 60. So be prepared for that. Future rainfall, yeah, it's impressive. It looks like we'll have a bit of a rain shadow that'll keep Seattle, Everett, and Renton in the one, one and a half range. Along the coast, we're talking four to five, and up towards the north, we're down towards the south, we're talking two to three inches. Here's Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass. Now, I'm recording this right around 9 p.m. on Thursday night, so this is what it looks like. It's going to be snowy into the early morning hours, and then the snow levels are going to rise, and we're going to see rain on snow. Look at this. By Friday, that snow level goes up to about 2,000 feet, and then plunges again Saturday and Sunday, and that's when we expect those accumulations to start to pick up in the mountains again. So overnight tonight, we start to see some of that rain pushing across the region. You see that snow level go way up, so Snoqualmie and Stevens will get rained on along with the northern Cascades. In fact, that's going to push all the way off towards the eastern edge of the Cascades by about 7 p.m. on Friday. Frontal boundary passes through. Early Sunday, those temperatures start to drop, and those snow levels will go along with them, but we'll get something called orographic snow. That's just a fancy way of saying that the moisture that's left over will continue to push up into the passes and then Sunday that next frontal boundary moves through and that's going to drive more snow up into the mountains too. So for the first round here we're talking about some snow that'll be about oh 14 inches at Crystal, 19 at White Pass and then up towards Baker not so much. Then when that temperature drops and those snow levels drop then we'll resume accumulating snow. We could be up to about two feet at Stevens Pass by Saturday night. Overnight lows are going to be cold and your seven day forecast shows more cold air on the way. In fact Monday and Tuesday we're going to see highs that will be in the upper 30s Tuesday and Wednesday and overnight lows that will be below freezing. So there you have it in a nutshell. I'm Chief Meteorologist King, King 5 Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett here in the King 5 Newsroom. Stay warm, stay safe, and keep looking up.